Baby, you gotta be more careful. Let me look at that. Ow, ouch, 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 ouch. No, 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 here, here, here. Let me put pressure on it. This, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna sting for a little bit, okay? <sighs> Baby, you gotta be careful when you're cutting vegetables. Yes. Well, one, that knife was way too dull. And secondly, judging by where this cut is on your hand, mm-hmm, you gotta hold the knife, you gotta do it that way, baby, you gotta, it's all about the claw, you gotta curl your fingers. No, this isn't, I'm not trying to lecture you, I'm just saying for next time so you don't get, because your poor little finger. No, it's not terrible, you don't need stitches, thankfully, at least I'm lucky, yeah, it doesn't look like any stitches, but it's gonna, it's gonna be painful for a little bit. I know, because there's, yeah, I know, from there was probably salt on the knife. That's probably why it stings so much. I'm gonna wash it out in a second, okay? Okay, we can wait. We can wait a second. We're gonna have to wash it out, all right? Yes, and then we're gonna have to put hydrogen peroxide on it, and then neosporin. Yep, and then a band-aid. No, baby. Yes, there's. There are people who talk about let it breathe, let the cut breathe. Sure, you can, but I, I mean, you want to at least clean it. If you want to let it breathe, I'll let you let it breathe. But you need to clean it at least, because doesn't doesn't that feel good when I put pressure on it? Yeah, that's why that's what the band is going to do. It's going to put the same amount of pressure I'm putting on. I know, I know, baby, I know you weren't being careless. I know, I know, I understand. These things happen, you know. It's a learning lesson. Hopefully, never you'll never get this kind of injury ever again. Ah, uh, man, I don't remember the last time I cut myself with a knife. Oh my god, I do. Do you, you remember? It was when I was cutting oranges. The skin was so slippery. Yeah, and I was and I was holding it the same way you were probably holding. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> you just can't hold things that way. You gotta cut. You gotta cut smart. I know the first cut is always the hardest. That's the one that you you feel like you gotta hold it a certain way, and that's when you get usually get cut. I know, I know. I appreciate you cooking. I appreciate you putting all this work on. I want to take care of you, so I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna no, I, baby. Let me help you finish. Let me help you finish cooking. It's okay. I was baby. I was literally not doing anything important. Yes, you're down a hand. Let me help. Okay, let me look at it. It's not bleeding as much anymore, which is good. It is. Ooh, it is a little deeper than I thought, though. Ooh, yeah, I know that looks painful. All right, um. <laughs> you're really procrastinating on the hydrogen peroxide it baby I know it's going to sting but the stinging is a good sign it means it's it's killing the bad bacteria it's killing bacteria in the, in the area yeah I know I know I know I know I don't enjoy it either hydrogen peroxide stings it is painful I know but that's what the neosporin is afterwards it's like that's the the nice cooling part it's, it's the burn and then the cool yeah no, I don't think you need stitches. I know it, it does. It doesn't look good and looks looks painful. You got it at like a, a rough angle, but it should be okay. I don't think it'll scar. I mean, if we if we take care of it well, I think I think it'll be okay. Might be a little line on your on your finger, but it wouldn't be. It's not gonna be terrible, baby. I know. I know. I know. Here. I figured I'd kiss it before we disinfect it. I'll kiss it afterwards too. On the band aid though. Mm hmm. That'd be the last thing I want is for this to get infected. Yeah, cooking injuries tend to get infected super easily because of like you know, all the stuff you're using to cook, if that gets in the in into the cut, it's really bad. No, but we're gonna take care of it. Okay. Are you ready? Here. All right. <sighs> Hold it still. Two seconds. On and off. On and off. Here, I have the. Uh, here. Here's a new spawn. So as soon as I put it on, I'll put. All right. Three, two. 
Yeah, I know, 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 I know it burns, I know it burns, I know it burns. Just give it a second. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. I don't know. Whenever I blow on it, it always helps me. Okay. Here. Now it feels so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not putting too much. Because you want to leave it open, right? You don't want me to... Or do you want a band-aid? Alright, I'll let you leave it open, but I think tonight you should put a band-aid on before you go to bed, okay? Mm-hmm. Just so you don't irritate it, because I don't... The last thing I want you is to, like... Yeah. Because you, I want this to stay down, because then it'll heal better than if it... If you let it lift, it will be really bad. Yeah. Just don't touch it. No, don't mess with it. Just leave your... Your hand is now in a bubble. Don't... No, no using this hand. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna help you finish cooking. Okay. Yes, I can. I can. I can help. All right. Just sit down. You can guide me. You can direct me. But I'll be your hand now. All right. Deal. Yes. And then once I'm done cooking, once we're done eating, I'm gonna. Or actually, before we start eating, I'm gonna get you a band aid. So you get in. Yeah, because maybe you. You want to cover it just to keep it safe. Okay. Okay, thank you. I love you. I'm sorry you got injured, baby. It's okay, I'll take care of your boo-boo. It'll get better, I promise. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. 